Where did the time go? January went by fast. Welcome to February. Have we taken action the way we said we were going to with our New Year's resolutions? February, the second month of the year. We have the principle of belief. Do we believe that we will actually accomplish something? Or are we just going to go along to get along? Let's do our best to make spiritual progress. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. A glorious release, February 5th. The minute I stopped arguing, I could begin to see and feel. Right there, step two gently and very gradually began to infiltrate my life. I can't say upon what occasion or upon what day I came to believe in a power greater than myself, but I certainly have that belief now. To acquire it, I had only to stop fighting and practice the rest of Alcoholics Anonymous's program as enthusiastically as I could. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 27. After years of indulging in a self-will-run riot, step two became for me a glorious release from being all alone. Nothing is so painful or insurmountable in my journey now. Someone is always there to share life's burdens with me. Step two became a reinforcement with God, and I now realize that my insanity and ego were curiously linked. To rid myself of the former, I must give up the latter to one with far broader shoulders than my own. Yes, indeed. We only know a little in the program of Alcoholics Anonymous, but we know a heck of a lot more than when we thought we were in control and drinking alcoholically. I surrendered behind the tears of no answers and decided to do it their way is a quote from Listening to the Wind in the Stories section of the Big Book. We know we can't go on that way, and we don't know how to stop. When presented with the solution through the steps, we scoff at first. Us lucky souls have a moment of clarity for once, and we surprise ourselves by our willingness to try. That is the beginning. We come back the next day. We put down the drink. We put down the uneducated resistance. I can't, he can, I will let him. The realization that we are unable to stop on our own is frightening and propels us into the second step. That is where the solution begins. A glorious release, February 5th. The minute I stopped arguing, I could begin to see and feel. Right there, step two gently and very gradually began to infiltrate my life. I can't say upon what occasion or upon what day I came to believe in a power greater than myself, but I certainly have that belief now. To acquire it, I had only to stop fighting and practice the rest of Alcoholics Anonymous's program as enthusiastically as I could. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 27. After years of indulging in a self-will-run riot, step two became for me a glorious release from being all alone. Nothing is so painful or insurmountable in my journey now. Someone is always there to share life's burdens with me. Step two became a reinforcement with God, and I now realize that my insanity and ego were curiously linked. To rid myself of the former, I must give up the latter to one with far broader shoulders than my own. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.